Okay, guys. Well, hello. Uh, this is Fer Juaristi from Mexico. Uh, I feel like uh, in the twilight zone because I cannot see or hear anybody. So it's like a broadcast with a freaking Mexican with a crazy bad English. So <laughs> let's see if, if we can learn something here. Okay. Uh, well. I'm, I'm going to talk about how I see things and, and how my uh, career has, has gone through f following my, my, my passion and, and my roots and, and hopefully you can, you can see that anybody can do it, that you don't have to be touched by God or something. It's, it's all about uh, working hard and trying to learn from from the best and and always uh, be humble and listen a lot to to the to the guys who have been here before than us and and also getting inspiration from other places that's not only wedding photography so i'm gonna say bye right now so we can see my screen okay Boop. okay guys so uh, since since I started shooting weddings, uh, this has been my my mantra or my my way of thinking. Uh, I always want to be not the same guy as the as my neighbor or or the same photographer as as the other guys. I'm always trying to do what's unexpected, and and from there uh, my business has has been great. Uh, so far, I have been doing this for almost eight years, and, and so far, so good. Uh, this is my only job. I don't have, I don't work at Blockbuster or as a doctor or as an engineer. No, I, I work out of a camera of that magic black box that everybody loves when we grab it. Sorry, it says <laughs> calendar ready. Okay. And, and I never expected to be able to, to live out of that. Um, and my wife, uh, her name is Sissy, she, she told me, hey, like, I think you really can do it. So I just went and left my advertising career and, um, and started shooting weddings right away. Well, before that, I was doing sweet, sweet sixteens and baptisms and uh, birthday parties, everything. You know, I was shooting anything that walked or moved. That that, that was my subject to be shooting. And then a good friend of mine, uh, he says, "Hey, I'm gonna get married. Uh, shoot my wedding." And I say, "Yeah, let's go for it." And since that moment, uh, I went crazy, and and I started to educate myself uh, in, in in this business, and and so far so good. I have met a lot of my mentors now, and and I can consider them my friends, and and the adventure has begun, and hopefully, and, and thank thank to God, uh, my career can go can can go a few years more. So. But at the beginning, everybody's a bit afraid, right? We start, we, we quit our job, and then we say, now what? So, so for me, this is my, my evolution. My first year, I was shooting 10 out of 10 images were only to please my client. Uh, I was afraid to, to give my approach to weddings because I didn't know what to do. I was just uh, imitating the rest of, of the industry and not the good industry, the, the local industry. Uh, the posy posy, the looking at the camera, the everything so fake. And, and I just got bored. After shooting for, for a year, I say, I think weddings are not for me. And on my second year, my wife again, she, she's She's my boss <laughs> and she's my inspiration. And she told me, hey, let's, let's try to do this. Let's, let's mix it a little bit. So on my second year, 
I started shooting the same, the same 10 images, but this time I only show those two. So it was eight for my clients and two crazy ones for me. And, and those two uh, represented my style. So it took another year to develop all the trust that I needed to go crazy and, and, and mix it. So now every time I go and shoot a wedding, it's, it's the opposite. I'm going to try to create eight images for me that, that represent their, their emotion, uh, their wedding day, but through my vision, and then two images to please my client. That's what's supposed to happen. But not every single time that stuff happens, you know? It's sometimes you arrive and then, hey, bright Silas, so, so you have to please them, right? So it's, 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 it's all about theory and it's all about uh, trying to educate our clients so, so they know what to expect when we're shooting their weddings. Uh, when wedding photographers have problems, it's because we're not, trying, we're not communicating correctly to our, to our couples. We have to say, "Hey guys, we do this. We don't. We don't shoot like this." Uh, it's that's the hard part at the beginning. Uh, just trying to say no uh, to a few couples that are not a good match for our style, and uh, inviting them to choose another photographer, you know, and give them a list. Like, "Hey, I know you're trying to look for a more classic uh, vision." So here are these two other guys or girls who, who are awesome uh, shooting classical portraits, you know? So tr try to be honest since the beginning. I know we have to pay the rent. I know we have, at least in my case, I have two kids, beautiful kids. Uh, so that's, that's the main problem, uh, trying to be honest since the beginning. And after that, uh, being honest all year long because everybody has different purposes in life and I'm for for my wife and me it's it's not all about having tons of freaking money it's it's all about having enough to have a good life uh, to spend time with our family and kids and just having the opportunity to live out, out of your passion and, and so you have to know what what's the definition of success for you and you're go I'm gonna show you mine, okay? So, uh, I'm gonna talk about how I do things, how I think, and how I feel. So, this is not the right way of doing things, guys. This is only my way, uh, the Mexican way, the Mexican monkey way, okay? I I'm called the Mexican monkey, that's my, my go-to name. Okay, so you you can call me like that. You can call me that. So uh, it's it's hard to know how you see things and how you feel because sometimes photography can be super new to us, and we only imitate every other photographer we see out there. So we're gonna try to to f dig deeper and to find our voice. So for me, the definition of success is try just to suck less. I try to do best, uh, better images than yesterday, you know, and, and that's the hardest part. Uh, every time you grab your camera, uh, there's a big chance that you're going to fail, that you're not going to create a spectacular shot, you know. Uh, there's only a few gods of photography out there, you know, but Every photographer has has their own, um, how do you say, uh, period or stages. So you don't have to rush in. You have to know what you like and you have to know what what you hate. And and after doing that, like every for me every week, uh, I have a folder that's that's called inspiration, and I just start throwing stuff out there, like movie stills. Um, it's like my clipboard, and when I have all these images that I like and the other ones I don't like, I start to analyze them to see if I like, I don't know, the, the depth, the, the, the lens they are using.
as uh, how And joyful, or or only a, sm a, sm a small single smile can can tell the same. So you have to see what what's what you feel, and and that's the hard part. You know, you that's 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 the question that we we have to ask every single day, every single click. What am I feeling with this image? We have composition, we have lighting, we have moments, all that stuff. But what's making me feel, and what's making feel uh, to my couple? You know, we need an audience to survive. So we need. Uh, in my case, I need. I know I need twelve cra crazy couples per year uh, to survive. So if if we do the math, I don't think it's crazy enough. Uh, to get twelve couples to 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 trust me, <clears throat> and 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 that's that's the fun part for me. Every year, I'm in the adventure on 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 the hunt to find twelve awesome couples. And thank God, every every year I have done more than twelve. You know, but but I know my numbers. So I know a lot of photographers they're not very uh, like business oriented. And and I'm not like that. I, I'm I'm I, I suck at numbers. But you have to know your number. How how many weddings or how many sessions do you need uh, to survive to to provide for your family? So so for me, my magic numbers uh, it's twelve. And and I, I go like crazy to to hunt them. And after that, I I can play with my numbers so so I can shoot more interesting weddings as well. Okay, so I'm going. <laughs> so we can go to the extremes. We can do like uh, the emotion of of a real family having having a great moment and, and being proud of their bride uh, of their daughter. Sorry, getting married. You know, being in their face uh, with your 35 millimeter lens right there. Or you can be a little bit far away, trying to find. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Ba, 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 ba. I'm having. Okay, Mavericks is changing my my software. Or you can you can be like this. You you can try to find a good composition, and just maybe have an intimate moment, something more personal, something more relaxed. And and that way, both images for me make me feel. But but you have you have to have that feeling. You know, not every images have have to be extremes. And and for me, that's 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 the adventure of a wedding photographer. That we can play with all the palettes of all the emotions, all the characters we have on on a wedding day. Okay, it's 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 about the couple. Yes, I know. But what else is happening around there? Okay. So I don't know if you have uh, in the U.S., in Russia, or wherever you are. Uh, here I have my Mexican elf, and this crazy motherfucker—it's—it's—it's it's, it's a little monkey that appears every time I grab my camera. It poofs like like devil and and the angel. Poof, it appears right here, and he starts talking to me. And he say, "Hey, you freaking motherfucker monkey." Don't grab your camera because you're gonna fail. You have done your best work; it's already done. So every single time I'm cleaning my lenses and I'm preparing my compact flashcards to shoot a wedding or, or a session, I, I don't want to do it. I, I'm I'm about to quit. I'm like, no, I'm gonna call the couple and say, hey guys, sorry, I'm sick. No, uh, I don't I, I don't want to be in your wedding. Because I know I, I'm not gonna surpass your expectations, and and for me that's that's my beast uh, to to 
to punch or to to defeat every single time. Uh, it's 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 one of the emotions or or the like the butterflies in, in your belly that I feel. But for me, it, it, it's more than that. So every time I grab my camera, it's it's time to kill that freaking Mexican elf. So that's that's what happens when when you when you're Mexican and grab your camera. <laughs> so now, guys, um, what we do is very important. For me, it's I call it the visual heritage because. That's what we do. We create memories. We, we, we create instants that are going to be remembered forever. And most of the time for people that are not even born yet. We're taking pictures for their kids. And most of the time they're, they're not even alive right now. So uh, uh, our job, it's, it's more than taking pictures. It's, it's telling the stories of new families. So we have to really take uh, the importance of what we're doing, so so they can really respect our our, our jobs. I I know a lot of couples they want the table by tables and they want all that, and it's okay to do it, you know. But but we will have to say, guys, hey, I'm here to tell your story, to remember your awesome freaking day, and and let's work together because that's the only way that we're gonna have the freedom to shoot, and and create awesome imagery. So, uh, and for me, like one of the most important days of my life is when my kids were born and I was able to document their lives as well. Uh, the entire day when my wife was having the, the first uh, pain in her belly and stuff, uh, I, I was there. I was there with my camera. For, for me, that's, that's the important that's the important things of life, you know? If, if I have Alzheimer tomorrow, I'm gonna have that, that image. I, I really wanna have that image to represent what I love the most. So a lot of photographers as well are very aware on their wedding day of being uh, in front of the couples or in, uh, blocking the view of, of the guests. And it, that's always on my mind. If every guest has Alzheimer the day after the wedding, I don't care. I'm going to have that image. Okay? So, so always, guys, don't, don't worry about blocking them. Uh, it's, it's our job to document the day so everybody can remember it forever. Okay? Don't, 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 don't be just like in the corner, just hiding between the trees and stuff. No, go up front and, and document the day where you're supposed to be. Okay? So, for us, uh, wedding photographers, the only difference that separates us is how we see the world, how we see things. And and that doesn't have a doesn't has a price. It, we cannot play the the price game. You have to know how you, what your what's your worth and 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 stick to it. You know. But if you are charging three times the more as as another guy, and and the couples they don't see the difference of styles, you have to work harder because if not, it, it's People are not gonna book you, so it's that's a cool thing. You have to really dig how you see things, believe in them, and try to become a master of it. You don't have to imitate anybody. You just have to find your own way of seeing things and really enjoying it. Okay. And for us, as wedding photographers, we live out of cliches. Everything's the keys. Everything's about the rings. Everything's about the tears. Yes, we know all about that. If you go to one wedding, you have seen all the freaking weddings in the world, right? The important thing is how you capture it. Where where you position on, on, on the correct moments. And and stick to that moment. Sorry. Uh, most of the time uh, for, for capturing one image, uh, on a wedding day I usually shoot around 6,000 images. I'm stubborn because I don't know which one's gonna which ones I'm gonna like the most. But I'm gonna choose my angle. 
So, so for example, in this image, they know I'm there. I, I, I shoot with my 35 lens uh, most of the day, and I'm close to people. So imagine, like, to capture this image, I shot, like, 50 pictures. And sometimes the veil was, was covering the, the, guy's, the guy's head, and sometimes I, I only saw one eye, or sometimes I, see, I saw two eyes. And, and sometimes the emotion of the bride wasn't there, you know? It, it's all about being stubborn and trying to, to make each click better than the last one, okay? So with all the cliches, we can play. For example, this image. Uh, yeah, we have the bouquets. Yeah, we're going to throw the bouquets, okay. And then we have the bridesmaids. Yeah, we have bridesmaids. But hey, okay, we have the bridesmaids. We have the bouquets, and then we have this beautiful uh, landscape. But there's a lot of crap in, in, in that composition. So that's why when we go low and, and we leave a lot of negative space up, we can clean everything. If, if I shoot in a normal angle, I'm going to see the cars. I'm, I'm going to see people walking. I'm going to see a lot of distractions. So. Uh, for me, it's all about choosing what I want to show, and it's uh, trying to hide the the places that I'm shooting. You know, I, I don't care about the Eiffel Tower, I don't care about the Empire State Building. You know, for me, it's all about people in cool places, and I don't care if it's a, if it's if it's a ranch or if it's a city. I'm gonna try to find my own point of view to create it, to create unique images. And, and, and for me, this one, it's, it's, I, I love this image because I have a lot of cliches. And then we have the, the bride as a freaking diva just chilling out there and saying, la la, I enjoy life. And I'm, and I'm just like a statue, you know, like a David, but uh, a female David, uh, a Davida. <laughs> and, and, and she's part of this, of, of these elements of these trees, you know, how, how, how she's in, in one of the uh, spots where there's more light, you know? So all the, all the times you see an image or to create an image, uh, try to squint your eyes and, and the attention is going to be to the white spot or, or to the brightest spot. So that's why she's positioned right there, closest to the, to the tree with where the most light is, okay? It's... it's uh, photography for me, it, you can be a, a documentary photographer or you can be more like a interpreter. Um, and for me, photography, it's, it's more about interpretation. Uh, I'm a storyteller, yes, because I shoot weddings, but the fun part for me, it's, it's creating these kind of images that go beyond a wedding, you know, that, that you can frame on your wall and they say, yes, it's, it's, it's a beautiful image. I don't care if it's a wedding image or if it's a portrait or anything, but it's it's a beautiful image. It, it's a composition with elements and that makes you feel, okay? And I'm talking about cliches as well. Uh, we can see this image and it's the same. You can see the bride, you can see the groom, and then there's the ghost of, I don't know, the Holy Spirit or something in the middle, you know? But it's, it, it's all about these small concepts that makes my job uh, fun. If, if, I, if, I, if I lost all the fun in, in the world of shooting weddings, I'm going to stop shooting weddings. So every time you grab your camera, try to find a way of having fun and going crazy in that direction. Because if not, you're going to get burned out so freaking easily that you're going to stop shooting weddings and just going to shoot dogs or, I don't know, cats or something like that. Guys. Okay, so I know that the easiest way to, to show emotion, it's, it's with a kiss, right? That's, that's, that's how love is. But yeah, like there's, there's, there can be subtleties in, in, in every emotion, as we were speaking earlier, as I was speaking earlier, sorry. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, uh, like remember, how how you grab I don't know the hair of of your loved one you know how how you see her 
how how you work together or how you saw it from for the first time you know it's it's not all about showing what the movies tell us love is you know you have to you have to find your own version of love and try and try to see if the couple digs dig those ideas you know um like this image uh we found <laughs> that's el santo uh from mexico we found that th that painting was right there on, on 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 the venue and you can see the hands of 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 aniela she she was my my second shooter in that in that wedding and i love li living stuff like that you know because it it's 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 a composition again. It's not only ooh a portrait, ooh a super close up of beautiful people. No, it's we're adding an emotion with them, just having a good time. You, you know how I make my couples laugh? Most of the time I tell them, Hey guys, look at my penis. And then that magic happens. <laughs> yeah, my penis have a powerful effects on people, you know? Um, and and then you have the El Santo and then you have the greenery on the background. You know, so so it's it's more a composition. It it's not only wedding photography, and and that's the fun part for me. Uh, we have to really try to find the defin the definitions of these three words, and try to mix them together, and create our own versions. You know, some images it's it's all about beauty. You know, like a, like a female uh, portrait. And, and then we can create art out of beauty, and then we, we can add love. So it's 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 a triangle. It, it's not all, only about love, or it's not only about art or beauty. We, we can mix them in, in different percentage each time, so we can make different emotions to each people. And and the good thing about our being a wedding photographer, and everybody's worry about every every day, there's 10,000 new wedding photographers out there. And for me, that's okay because I was one of them. our price and they're going to trust us it's not about the biggest camera it's not about the longest lens it's about making images uh, universal that they feel and and you and you're proud of them uh, I'm, I'm very selfish with my work for me I, I have to I have to love my work first and the couple you know so how how I sell my work it's uh through my blog and that's that's why i only show 20 to 30 pictures per wedding because i really want to connect with those crazy ones who if they see 20 images from an entire wedding uh, a 12 hour wedding day and they say yes i can see a story on each image i can i can feel the emotion of this couple I, I can I can feel the place I can smell the roses and stuff you know when we, with those couples they know why why they are booking you you know so so you have to really be sure how are you selling your stuff and for me it's showing less and and making the imagination flow and and after that um, just being a good person on on Skype or email or anything. You know, it's it's easier than than everybody thinks, but you have to really try to make unique images for you, and then trying to find those couples that really understand you. Okay, so let's keep this webinar on the road. So how I sell my my work? It's as simple as this, guys. Um, they see my work, they send me an email, and one of the phrases that I use, it's for me, your wedding is an experiment. Uh, 
does it excite excite you or does it scares you and like I don't know like 90% they're gonna be afraid and they're gonna just beep 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 hung the, hung, uh, hang the phone and I'm okay with it you know that's that's the cool part and and the other 10% that are gonna be excited about it uh, I know for sure that we're a good match you know most of my clients are are creatives and not not only on their profession you know but they 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 have a good taste and 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 they give me the freedom that I want and and that's cool uh, a lot of my couples are uh, from America or or Canada that fly to Mexico and and, and get married in beautiful places like like Tulum or Cancun or Puerto Vallarta and and if you're doing your wedding on the beach, it, it means that you're a real, that you're chill out, that you're gonna be relaxed, and that's that's a cool filter to have. And and yeah, guys, uh, that's that's my selling process. I just tell them, hey guys, for me, it's an experiment. We're gonna create together, and we're gonna make magic together. And the ones they stay, uh, we have a lot of fun. And so far in eight years, uh, I have had awesome clients that, that really trust in me and, and, and thank God uh, I'm still here. So what, what do I look for an image? Uh, for me, it's, it's all about trying to find a beautiful light. Uh, and sometimes beautiful light can be a hard light. A lot of wedding photographers hate hard light, but I really love it. Uh, compositions, uh, compositions for me are, are a must. You know, I, I like to see my couples as as a dot or as a line, and try to see where can I put them inside my frame so they're gonna look awesome. Um, and then I'm gonna try to capture a moment uh, in portraits. Most of the time, I'm gonna try to generate them. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to them. Uh, every time uh, I'm, I'm shooting, a, no, every time I'm shooting, um, I'm talking with them. So if this is, uh, let me grab one camera, I don't know, well, if I'm shooting a wedding, um, a portrait, and I'm here, and I'm like, yeah, let's do this, ha, 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 ooh, la, 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 boom, 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 but I'm shooting and talking. A lot of photographers, what they do, they leave their camera, they direct, they do, yeah, ooh la la, do this, do this, do that, perfect, don't move. And then, crack. And for me, most of the time, it's, it's the in-betweens. So if I'm shooting and talking, but I'm always shooting, I'm going to capture uh, more natural poses for them. And I'm going to, I'm going to see their souls and I'm going to see their, uh, their real emotions. Yeah, so try try to direct and shoot at the same time instead of leaving your camera on your shoulder. Okay, that's that's that works for me. So uh, having all the all these elements, the light, uh, the composition, the moments, and the concepts, uh, I see images like this. Uh, my images are are a puzzle. Some images are going to have more moments. Than concepts and sometimes the lighting is gonna be missing. The light, sorry. So that's what that's what moves me. Uh, that's the rush because you take a lot of pictures and yes, like just say, ah, I, I'm missing my composition, but I have all these three elements. Okay, I, I can live with that. Or sometimes you have a cool composition with a cool moment. But not, uh, but no concept or or no or no light. So it's like oh, almost there, you know. So w w sometimes, uh, like the gods of photography or something helps you out, and everything fits together, and that's when magic happens. But sometimes it's not like that. So you have to work harder. So I always try to find. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm always trying to clean my space, you know, 
uh, I try to play with few elements most of the time so you can have an easy read on your on, on each photography you know uh, it's usually the one to three for me so it's one it's the couple two it's the sky and three it's it's another element that's around there like in this in this case the uh, the pines on the corner but sometimes it's it's only two or one like like this image uh, it's only two dudes uh, we were trying to do a, a day after session and and they wanted to have a lot of um, sky you know the blue sky beautiful blue sky everything beautiful with everything looks beautiful in blue and and green right but now not this not this day so it was an overcast day and everybody was like oh oh now what we're we gonna do so for me when i see white it, it's 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 a white canvas so i love that stuff you know white canvas for me it's 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 a way to play and and just to have fun so we went inside a pool and and I, I was with them together like uh, shooting with a 50 mil there so we tried not to move so the water wasn't hasn't had another enough ripples and and we say hey just look at each other and then look there and look over there and i love separating my couples um because that way they can they can have a personality and 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 you can know that they're having individuality as well you know yeah we're in love and we love each other and we can we want to be together the rest of our lives but i'm independent as well so most of the time i separate my couples uh just to make them feel awkward and and i love seeing their reactions or an image like this as well uh for me every time i, I see lines and shapes and colors uh, I start with my composition. So, so on this image, uh, the idea I, I had the the framing. So it was like the beautiful colors there, and I didn't have the couple. And you can see uh, on on the brides on the bride's head that the lights coming from top from the top part. Okay. So I post the groom. I say, hey, you go over there, and he was just there doing nothing. And then since since the light was coming from from top, I said to the bride, "Okay, you're gonna do this crazy stuff. You're gonna just be looking up, and you're gonna be walking from right to left and laughing at like a crazy person." That's that's a tip that a good friend DJ told me. So so she was just like, ha, 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 ha. and and when you're taking those images, it's crazy. You don't feel you don't feel natural. You feel awkward. Everybody feels awkward. You know, but that's that's the fun part. The magic of photography is that you have to be a clown and be okay with being a clown and forget that uh, uncomfortable feeling because the final result it, it what it's what counts. Okay, it's the process. It's it's a joke. You have to you have to embrace it, and after that. You you have you have you're gonna see the final result and you're gonna say okay it's it's good to be a clown and just have fun. It's not the, I don't want to be. Uh, when I was starting my, my first years as wedding photographer, I wanted to look super professional, you know. So I was like, yeah, with with a suit and, and big super cameras and 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 flash brackets and like a big case and everything. I wanted to look like I'm. I'm worth every penny, right? And now I don't want to look like that. If 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 they say, "Hey, that's your professional photographer," I prefer to to be that guy. You know, I want to be uh, like the underdog because that way my work is gonna speak for me. I, I don't want to be that guy. You know, I, I'm not a model. I don't want. I don't want to be like, "Yeah, this is the cool dude." Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. You 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 have to. For me, it's all about being a guy with a camera. I don't care if they say that's a professional. If they say that's a freaking dude, I, I prefer that. You know, and, and that way your your work is gonna it's gonna be powerful enough to 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 explode their freaking heads when they see the final images. Okay, so I'm always trying to find abstractions in things. 
uh, like, like for example this image that you see uh, shooting through things and and just waiting for the moment like I, I shot like I don't know like 70 images because I, I didn't post that right I say okay stand here and start spinning like like crazy and that, that was my direction spin like crazy so she was turning one right one one side to the other and she was just like she was about to throw up I think guys but I was waiting for the three freaking ah ah seagulls to come to come there and and to and make the perfect balance you know so it's simple things like that just just trying to wait a little bit longer than you that you wanna wait makes all the freaking difference uh, and as abstractions as 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 a as a reflection as well, it's it's it looks off. It looks great, you know. But it, it's simple reflection. But as a photographer, we, we have to have that sensibility of changing changing our, our surroundings. You know, it's the camera doesn't have the same sensibility as our eyes. So we have to know when to get the background blurry. When, when to underexpose, when to overexpose, and that's that's the magic about what we do, guys. Or stuff like this that I don't see their heads, but I know they're there, you know? And I was throwing their freaking tie just like crazy, woo, just playing with them, and they were like, what the fuck's happening here? And they say, just don't smile, guys, just don't smile, you know? I just wanted to capture something that I haven't seen before in a wedding image. You know, and that's the fun part, Explo exploding a lot of elements. I, I love seeing paintings. I love seeing uh, fashion photography, stuff that's not all about weddings and all about love, and and trying to embrace it into my own work. Uh, I do a lot of these. Uh, I tend to underexpose my images, so that way I can I can. Shadows for me are mystery, and mystery is freaking awesome because you can hide the you you can hide the place that you're shooting. Like this image, uh, it was in Brazil. Uh, a good friend, a photographer, and all these little things are candles, and and I grab a, a chair, and I was on top of them, and and those guys are lit with a spotlight uh, that was there. You know, this was the main entrance of the wedding, but, but you don't you don't see it because it's it's underexposed. So so that's the fun part, guys. We, uh, we have we have to play with the limitations of our cameras, okay? Or or this image as well. You know, uh, the part from the, the the left the left part of the image it's a reflection. So. Uh, I exposed for the dress and everything else boom, just disappeared, you know, because the camera ha doesn't have the potential as our eye. So on the back of the bride, you could see uh, there were people uh, walking, uh, there were the restrooms, but I knew that if I, if I underexpose, everything was just going to be pitch black. So that's that's what I love about photography. It's all this freaking chemistry and all these elements that you don't know what you're gonna get, but you have to know your limitations, and and that's when magic happens for me. Also, uh, for for me, it's it's more important uh, the emotion or or the feeling instead of the looks. So it's it's all about. Uh, I I don't show a lot of. Uh, how you say like uh, I, I prefer to, to not show uh, to, to make it more in an interpretation like like example this image you, you don't see her face sorry but but you can feel her you, you can you can see what what she's feeling what what she's about to, to leave right and and that's the mystery that I love to explain in, in my images or, or an image like this as well you know there are those guys are are just having a moment a uh, bliss you know they're they're together but they're they're not touching themselves you know they're not they're not hugging and they're not like yeah my love uh, sometimes wedding photography can be a little bit too romantic but like a corny romantic and I hate that shit 
So I, I try to remove myself uh, the most as I can. And, and most of the couples that they hire me are like that. They're not kissy, kissy, posy, posy couples. And, and so our portfolio, it's going to attract those ones. Uh, imagine that you are, that you are a, a, I don't know, an eagle. You know, if I am an eagle, I'm going to be like, ah, ah. Okay, and and if if I make that call, who's who's gonna answer me? It's it's not gonna be a squirrel or or a, or a dragon, you know. It's gonna be another freaking eagle, and and I wanna attract only the eagles. So our our my goal for me it's it's to my my job it's not to to make everybody happy. I wanna only make the eagles happy. So I'm gonna have. Hopefully, <laughs> enough um, enough weddings to to shoot every every year. Okay, so just be sure what kind of uh, eagle or beard you want to attract, and and your portfolio is gonna be the filter that's gonna that, that's gonna move you in that direction. Okay, or or an image like this. You know, this was shot on film, and she she is a ballerina. You know, so and you cannot see her face, but this image represents. Who she is, you know, and and any bride that loves dancing and is gonna get married, it's gonna feel connected with this image, you know. It, that's trying to create universal images. It's it's a fun and hard uh, thing to do, but but that that's that's a cool thing about our about our job. We can we can get out of our comfort zone and and try to to become. Uh, artists for a day, you know, while we're shooting. We always have to be where we don't supposed to be, guys. So, uh, oh, sorry, uh, I hate this stuff, guys. So, I'm always trying to be thinking uh, as my kids. Are, okay, I don't, I know that I don't have to be here, so I have to be here. Okay, so like I remember these kids a lot because the the, the priest was was a really a pain in the ass. He was super uh, strict, and these kids they say I don't care. I just want to be with, with my uncles, you know, having fun and making them uh, funny noises and funny faces. And I remember this image a lot. And and, and after that, I, I'm always trying to think and um, and feel and feel sorry like like a kid, you know, like. Like for example, this image, you know, you you don't supposed to be there. You, you don't supposed to be with where the bride's eating and having a, a, a quick meal, and, and the groom is just with her. You know, it, but but it's an interesting image. You know, it's 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 a it's an offbeat image, but it's the same. It's telling the story. It's it's not telling the story, uh, a normal story. You know, uh, or or like the magazine story. But for me and for them, this picture represents a lot, you know, because it's it's these small things in life that that, that really uh, makes the difference for me. Or or sometimes when they just say, "Hey, let's get out of the room, just keep shooting, guys," you know, and 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 this image for 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 me and the, and the bride, it's 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 a, it's a beautiful image, and, and for the groom, he he thanked me and gave me a. A big tip for this image. <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, I don't like my couples looking in the camera because I think, or they feel like a threesome. For me, uh, portraits or images are more for them. You know, the, the showing emotion or so showing affection, affection with them. It's it's not about the camera, guys. I don't want to say, hey, I look so beautiful. So. I have to turn and look at the camera. Ooh la la! No, come on! It's I I, I look beautiful because of this person person who's looking more beautiful than me, and I want to make him feel special. And that's what I'm trying to always connect, guys. Uh, I repeat this image. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, one tip uh, as a a technical tip, guys. I always shoot uh, on black and white. I shoot everything on raw. But everything is on black and white, so for me, it's it's all about uh, simplification. Uh, for me, color is a distraction. Uh, I just go crazy when I shoot, and my white balance is off. 
or and my exposure and everything I just want to try to not think that much so you can customize your camera so you can shoot in black and white all day long and it looks more interesting I don't know why and and for me it's easier to see my shadows and my shapes and and and, and the contrast between uh, dark and light so if you haven't tried it uh, try it one day and 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 you can see I don't know a different a different vibe and and you can even see something as boring as a I don't know a computer in black and white it, it can look interesting so I, I don't know how to see color while I'm shooting everything's in black and white for me guys and if you try it and you like it please let me know okay so uh, I'm always trying to do this, uh, trying to find ordinary places and make them look extraordinary. That's that's my goal in life, uh, and that's that's fun for me as well. And it's it's super simple, you know. You you can show the obvious, or you can say, okay, if I show this perspective and I and I get low and I or I get high, and I can I can get beautiful places uh, out of nowhere. Like like sample of of this image, you know, like a like a tree just cut in half or more than half, and you say just hey guys, just stand there, guys. And for me, it looks cool, you know. But it's it's something that if if you are if you live there and you see a a tree, you're not gonna see like something majestic, you know. It's it's gonna be like yes, another tree. I don't care, you know. We have to remember. Uh, how how to get emotion again? You know how how to get amazed by by life or by by simple things, and and that's the the fun part. It's 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 all about fun for me. <laughs> or, or like an image like this. Uh, it's it's my, my good friend Walter. <coughs> Sorry, and and this was uh, taken in Amsterdam. So so this is a museum. Uh, it looks like a freaking Star War, uh, Star Wars. Uh, I don't know, like a, something about Star Wars, you know. And and I remember that um, this is a this is a very touristy place. It's a museum, and there's a lot of people walking like all day long there. So I I really loved, sorry, uh, this little corner of light, but it was high enough. Uh, this. Uh, it, you needed to be like a giant uh, to to be there. So we found uh, these two chairs. So they were standing on the chairs. So that way, people were walking, walking. Sorry, uh, while we we're taking this picture, and we didn't care. You know, it, it's all about removing all the shit from your pictures and try to make it look unique, intimate, and personal. Every everywhere you are. Okay, it's it's possible. You just have to learn how to see things, and 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 just enjoy it. You know, like uh, for me, the master of this kind of images, it's I don't know, like like Ben Chrisman. He's like a freaking dude who creates magic out of nowhere with his reflections and stuff. And it's like motherfucker, how you do that shit? You know, and and he knows it awesomely. You know, and 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 you have to find your own way of. Uh, discovering the, the world that you're used to and try to make it look interesting okay or, or an image like this you know it's if, if I tell you hey yeah it's it's a wall it's a dirty wall with a dirty dog and, and, a, and a bride walking you can say yeah whatever but then how you how you take it and, and how the, the the empathy of the, the movements of the bride and, and the dog are the same you know, it, now it changes the the, the emotion or, or or the feeling that that you can feel. You know, and and this is the first image that I have in my portfolio. If you are a a Barbie bride and you see this image, you're you're gonna hate me forever. You're gonna say like, eh, this guy's freaking crazy. He's smoking crack or pot or whatever. No, but those are the filters that we really have to take care of, guys. If we show our first 10 images in our portfolio have to be strong enough to scare a lot of brides. And and the good ones are going to stick to them, uh, stick with them, and they're going to call us and they're going to book us. But if we are doing the same stuff as all the other wedding photographers, 
we're going to have a hard time booking weddings. Okay. So uh, the other thing I want to talk to you guys, it, it's about showing context. Uh, because sometimes I, I see a lot of uh, photography out there with long lenses and it seems that nothing's happening around them. So showing what's what's around the couple and, and what's happening, it's, it's very important, at least in the moment. Um, for example, this image, um, most of the, uh, a lot of photographers, what I have seen, is like they do a close-up of the dress and they do a close-up of the bride and they put them side, side by side and that's their story. So on, on your next wedding, tr try to do that, guys. Try to see how can I tell more than one story on this image, okay? And when you're starting to, to see the world in, in that direction, you're going to have a lot of fun because you're going to play with layers and you're going you're gonna to wait and you're going to see in, in a more three-dimensional way. And, and that's the fun part. <laughs> fun part, it's, it's, it's my, my word of the day. My, my, well, that stuff. So, so always remember, guys, uh, open the doors that you're not supposed to open and, and stick to them. It's, it's, it's always interesting to see who's going to... Who's gonna, who's gonna uh, shout at you or who's gonna say, hey, don't do that or, or don't do this. But just go and, and do it. I don't care about it. Or an image like this, like you can see uh, the bride and groom, uh, the bride and the, and the father of the bride are walking through the aisle and all the anticipations there. You can see where the wedding was, you can see the time of the day it was, you know, and you, you it's 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 for me this image represents their ceremony you know if i only have one image of the ceremony it, it will be this one because everything's there you know so when we try to see things in in, in more than one person dimension uh it's it's going to be easier for for couples to to understand how we see things also guys uh, don't be afraid of cropping in in camera for me, for me, doing the crazy crops, it's 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 one of the fun and 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 most uh, interesting parts of the day. Uh, it's not because uh, they're ugly. No, it's not like that. Believe me, guys. But it's it's only to to make emphasis on where where you want them to see. You know, like uh, like an image like this. You know, like uh, framing them in, inside a inside a fence and then only showing their their. Their emotions, you know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see too much. I, I want, I want my images to to make you feel and make you think at the same time. And thank God, uh, I think it has happened more than once, and and it's it's working so far. Or this image as well, you know. You don't have to see everything. It, it, all the all the emotions in their hands, and 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 they're together, and they're having a freaking awesome time. And and that represents everything for me. Okay, so uh, just to uh, do a small resume, um, I, I dare you guys to, to square up. Uh, and square up, what it means, it's, uh, if you see it in, in my computer, uh, you can see my funky face, right? Yes. So uh, squaring up is trying to be straight to your couple or to your action, you know? Uh, a lot of guys they do the 45 degree, you know, and and that's that's okay, you know, if, if you if you like it. But on your on your next uh, event or session, try to be in front of the actions. Try, try to be um, with your eye horizon. Try to make it look like this, not like this. Okay, <laughs> hopefully it's gonna work for you guys, and 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 just. Uh, Simplifies everything. It's thinking as an architect that that your lines are gonna be where they're supposed to be. Okay, D don't make them wonky. Uh, try to make them just zoom direct, and and it simplifies everything. Uh, always be aware of your background. Uh, there's a lot of beautiful images out there, and then you can see like a Volkswagen parked there. He's like, ooh, dude, like those are the 
the the details that count. So watch watch everything, guys. The the background, even if it's out of focus, it's as important as your foreground. Also, on your next wedding or or session, guys, every single time you you choose your angle, wait three freaking minutes there. Okay, grab your camera. Put your timer and stay there. Imagine that you're shooting with a tripod, okay? So, th so that way you're gonna push yourself to to don't be running like a chicken without without a head, okay? Just stick to one place and 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 wait three moments to to see what the magic is, is gonna happen, okay? And and try to tell more than one story per image, and and that's that way I think we have more potential of of doing more interesting images, guys. And always, you have to compromise to your vision. There's always more than one action happening. There's always more than one point of view that you have to choose. But it's it's very important to to choose one angle and say, okay, I'm gonna risk it. So, uh, should I do the far away angle and, and wait for the keys, or should I be super close up and and just do do the isolation of them, you know. It's 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 all about choices, and and, and for me, uh, that's 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 the fun part. <laughs> yeah, Ch choosing where you have to be, and on on a wedding day, um, you know what's going to happen in advance. So I, I hate this guy, this Uncle Bob shooting here, Urgh, but whatever. Um, on 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 a ceremony. I don't know if it's gonna last 40 minutes. Try to find the cool places that's gonna be. You know, try to find three or four angles, and and where the important stuff it's about to happen, go back to your to your spots, okay, to your tramps, and wait there until that moment happens. When you start risking the important uh, part of the wedding day with your cool compositions, magic's gonna happen in front of your eye, guys. Eyes. Eyes, guys. So, uh, please, guys, uh, just go crazy. Uh, it's it's all about having fun. It's all about risking. Uh, I, I rarely have a second shooter, so I, I risk a lot. If you have a second shooter, risk even more, guys, because you, you are allowed to do it. If, if we do the normal stuff, watch out. Uh, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna get boring pretty easily. And you just go crazy, please uh, defeat your your Mexican elf or your elfish elf or your I don't know any nationality that you are, and and I wish everybody a, a awesome freaking 2014, and I think we're gonna go to Q and A's, right? Right? Yes. Okay. Let's let's see what's what's next, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Um, let me see. I'm gonna open the questions here. Whoa, holy! Okay, so let's start here. Uh, where do your creativity comes from? Uh, drugs, uh, rock and roll, and sex. No, uh, I usually try to to get my inspiration from movies. Uh, uh, every time I'm editing a wedding, I'm, I'm seeing a movie on, on a second screen on mute, and I'm trying to to get that like a orange clockwise. All the information's coming through my eyes, and, and I, I love seeing art movies, and, and just um, in, in, in cinema, what, what, what I love, it's that everything is justified. No, every whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, everything is justified. And sometimes in wedding photography, it's not. Uh, wedding photography it's sometimes just to make things look cool. And in wedding photography, you have the cinematographer, you have you have the, the lighting guy, you have the director, you have the actors. So <clears throat> for for me, movies are are my my, my main uh, creativity and inspiration. Uh, database because they those guys are our masters for me okay how stay despite all your previous work this, this is a crazy question because really you never know uh, if you're gonna make it 
uh, if you're doing something that you have done already or if something's original. So you just have to trust your God and uh, usually when I'm shooting a wedding, I try to not see uh, wedding photography for at least one week and I try to go to, to the museums, to see art galleries, to see a lot of uh, fashion photography or uh, art or like I love seeing, like I have this uh, Elliot Erwitt stuff, uh, Tim Walker, uh, Rodney Smith, uh, those guys for me are, are, are the real masters and, and I love seeing their stuff. Okay, what else? How do you do on the couples choose location for? Whoa, this is a long question. Shoot, sorry guys. Uh, I'm this. I'm I'm a newbie at webinars. Uh, yeah, for choosing locations, um, I I rarely do scouting, so I I just prefer to to say, hey guys, come over here and. And we 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 rent a car or we just walk and try to find cool spots around the places that we are. If I'm in a in a fancy hotel, I usually get out there. I, I don't like shooting in fancy places. Um, I I try to do take the emergency exit and and just enjoy what's what's around us. Okay. Um, how to say if. If you realize a couple doesn't fit your style, how to say no for them? I just tell them the truth. Hey, hey guys, I say, I think you're looking for a more classical photographer, classic photographer, sorry. And uh, here's a list of, of photographers that I recommend. You, know? you, have, you have to be honest. You, if, if, if I see red flags that one of them is going to be like a real uh, pain in the ass uh, and they're seeing a lot of details and they say, this is my profile and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I send them to another photographer because I don't want to have problems. Uh, I, I really don't sell uh, beauty uh, as, as, a, as a normal way of, as a normal beauty, you know, like a, like a Barbie beauty. So uh, I, I try to detect that and, and you just have to be honest, you know, it's, it's I don't match uh, just just to tell you, uh, I have received this year uh, in total like 400 inquiries and I'm gonna, so far next year I'm shooting uh, 16 weddings. So so do the math and you can see that not, not all the couples are right for me. Okay. Uh, do you have a, a fixed focal to attend your clients? No, I work everything online. Uh, I don't have a local. Uh, I rarely shoot weddings in where I live. Uh, I mainly travel to shoot my weddings and, and I really enjoy it. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, I know you like mobile. Uh, uh, my, uh, my favorite director of photography. Uh, I loved uh, Conrad Hall, uh, Conrad H A L L. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy. Uh, his last movie was a uh, Road to, to Perdition. Uh, it, yeah, that guy. He has an awesome freaking history. Uh, I also love uh, Nestor Almendros. Uh, he's uh, from past generations as well. Uh, in Mexico, we have awesome directors of photography like Emanuel Lubezki. He has been nominated like five times for, for the Oscars and I, I, I love that guy and uh, Mathieu Lavatique as well. I love that guy. So yeah, I, lo I love a lot of uh, DPs. Most of the time I, I see, I go to the movies depending on, on, the, on the cinematographer and, and that's, that's how I see things. I, I wanted to become a cinematographer but uh, that's, yeah, I, it didn't happen, okay? Uh, who would I choose to shoot my wedding if I was to shoot my wedding? Huh. Yeah, well, I, I love a lot of guys out there. Um, but yeah, uh, one of my favorites and, and, and they're good friends are uh, Nordica, uh, based in Stockholm, I think, right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love those guys' style. Uh, I love uh, Niraf Patel. 
I love uh, Jeff Newsom's. Uh, I love Sam Sam Hurt. Um, yeah, I love a lot of guys. Uh, I love Ryan Muirhead. He doesn't shoot weddings, but his stuff it's freaking beautiful. If you haven't seen his work, uh, check it out. Um, what's the most important factor for you when the camera is in your hands? Uh, for me, it's uh, isolation. Uh, what it means is like any place that you are, uh, you learn how to see it uh, with fresh eyes. Uh, for me, that's that's one of the most important things. You know, it's I'm always trying to hide things, uh, try to make it an easy reading, uh, and then try to get the confidence of of my couple that we're gonna make awesome images together. And that's the most two important things for me. Yeah, in the, in the technical side, I'm not an expert, you know, I, I fumble a lot, I'm like, oh, no, no, what's happening here and stuff, you know, so uh, I do, I use my hand a lot to expose, so every time I'm shooting, I, I just take one picture of, of my hand, if, if, if I see detail in my hand, I go crazy right there, okay? Uh, what is the worst part of wedding photography? Uh, I think um, business, the business part of uh, wedding photography can can be can suck sometimes because a lot of wedding photographers we're not business guys. So <coughs> sorry, uh, answering emails and uh, sending uh, contracts and sending invoices and just uh, getting everything. Um, on time, uh, it's it, it, it's one of the things that you have to really take care of. Uh, but I, I uh, for me, it can be the worst part out of uh, being a destination photographer. Sometimes uh, getting sick, uh, like uh, this weekend, I had a wedding and I was I had fever, I had uh, an infection. I still have it, but so I, I went with a doctor and at like at 11 p.m. With, with my good friend uh, Ricardo from Real Love, uh, and they they <laughs> they pinched me, uh, and and thank God I was okay. But yeah, it's it, it's hard to be always in right shape to shoot a wedding. So, but I I don't hate anything. Like some some wedding photographers, they hate family portraits. I really love them because they're freaking important. Okay. Uh, saludos desde Colombia. Saludos, mi buen Julia. Uh, give us some samples that you saw on movies and apply to wedding photography. Um, if if you see um, one movie that you have to see, it's Tree of Life. See see how that movie uh, tells a story and show you uh, shows you uh, emotions. And, and makes you feel without even talking. Uh, see see how the kids react when, when they're together and with, and with their mother, and 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 that's uh, what I get most about uh, cinematography. It's uh, their compositions. Uh, they're just freaking beautiful, and and that's how I get inspired. You know, it's 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 not it's nothing magical. It's just trying to see different things. That's not about wedding photography. Okay. I hate not being able to listen, but yeah, whatever. Feel like a crazy dude here. Uh, do you work with a second photographer? No. Uh, sometimes uh, I, I work with second photographers, but they're usually friends who uh, I invite, and we just have fun. And if someone comes with me, uh, they have a they they have a mission, and they have to surprise me. That's that that's their mission. I say. I don't want to see you. I, do, I just want you to go crazy, and you have to show me pictures that are, are going to blow my mind. So if someone comes with me, they have to do better than me, and and they have to risk even more than what I'm doing. I don't have the safe stuff. Okay. Uh, what fear how you have? Why cannot see the entire questions? Shit. Um, well, uh, the, the fearless question, uh, sometimes 
Sometimes you, you just don't feel it. You you wake up and you are you go safe. You go safe all day long. And the the thing about try to become uh, all the technical stuff have to, has to be like muscle memory. You have to really try to learn it. So even if in the hardest uh, days of, of of your career, it comes natural to you. So. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I, I I I go to the safe one and I just keep it like that. Uh, I I hate I don't I cannot see the entire questions. Sorry about that, Nicolas. What cameras and lens do you use? Uh, so far, I have uh, an Nikon uh, D3s uh, with a 35 lens uh, Sigma. Uh, it's it's the new Sigma, but I I'm really loving that one. And I'm using uh, the D700 with a 85 Sigma as well. And then I have a 50, 50 mil as backup. And that's it. Uh, I don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, two cameras, three lenses, and, and that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm funny. OK, hopefully that's, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, OK, the geometry in, in my images. Uh, just so so you so you know uh, my my first uh, wow image was from a guy that's called Pete Turner Pete Turner, and he's a geometric crazy motherfucker man. So w when I saw his stuff, I say yes, I want to be that guy. You know, applying to something else. And but yeah, I, I am I'm obsessed with with geometry. Why? I don't know. I, I think uh, architects, architects and God have created this beautiful place for us, and I just try to respect it and, uh, and, and go in that direction. Yeah? Okay. How do you find those crazy great couples each year? I end up getting sweet couples, but they end up wanting safer coverage. Or imitating photos on Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I get those as well. Uh, at the end, uh, believe me, uh, if I show, I'm only showing 30 images or, or 25 images on my blog, okay? And I'm shooting 6,000 images. And the slideshows are usually around uh, <clears throat> 150 images. So uh, I try to please everyone. But the thing is, uh, when you get married and you book me, hopefully, hey, book me. <laughs> Uh, I, I've, the first thing you're gonna see it's it's my blog post, okay? And then that that blog post is gonna be there. Uh, you're you're only gonna see those 20 images for one week, okay? And then you have to wait one week to see the slideshow. So what I want them to do, it's embrace my vision of, of, their, of their wedding day, yeah. And and after that, yeah, they're gonna see the formals and they're gonna see. The normal, the traditional stuff as well, but yeah, for for me, uh, it's it's very important for for them to only see my favorite ones, so they can go crazy, and after that, uh, we show everything else. Okay. What things inspire is inspires me? Uh, well, just being alive. You know that for me, that's that's inspiration and movies. And all those books that I have here, and it's yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't get a lot of inspiration from other wedding photographers. That's that's what I try to do. You know, I try to have a diet in in wedding photography, um, and and just see other things. You know, every every time, inspiration for me usually comes as well uh, the day before the wedding. I try to grab my camera. And the only destination that I I, I go and shoot uh, personal stuff, like the things that you can see on the background there, you know, like uh, these fisherman and and a freaking dog and kids playing, and a, a cool sexy model, you know. For me, that's inspiration. It doesn't come from 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 the wedding day. It it comes from inside and shooting personal projects or personal images, and then try to embrace them into their wedding day. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, did you direct a lot of your photos by getting your subjects? Um, if so, did you direct without breaking? Well, uh, 
for this question, usually I try to uh, get inside their bubble, uh, so, uh, so to say. And but yeah, uh, as I as I told early earlier, uh, I, I talk with them a lot, and I give them a lot of directions. And but a lot of times, you just let things happen. You know, there's there's couples that they just all in love and they they know how to touch and how to talk and react and it's beautiful but with, with, with when they don't do that uh, imagine that you are like I don't know uh, a lawyer and I'm gonna say to the lawyer hey guy uh, I don't know whisper uh, all the laws or, or shit like that in a sexy way you know and so I try to do the posing and the directing as personal as possible so, so they feel more relaxed and, and, and they feel more on their feet. And, and that way the image is going to be more for them and, and they're going to remember uh, the stupid things that I, were, uh, that I was saying and, and they're going to love that shit. Okay. Uh, if you shoot 6,000 images, how many uh, did you give that will tell the story? Uh, yes, as I told you, around... Uh, 150 for the slideshow, and usually the proofing gallery is going to have around 600 to 800 images. Okay, how often do you change? Uh, you change your place for shooting. Mm. Usually, uh, when when I post uh, and I have one image, I'm going to try to do the same as they do uh, on the movies. Uh, they're going to have an extreme close-up, they're going to have a medium shot, and then uh, they're going to have a far, far away shot. So most of the time, for the same pose or the same action, I'm going to have three, three dimensions, uh, three, yeah, three distances uh, with the same lens or, or with different lenses. Uh, but yeah, I usually have three sets of each image. Because I, w while I'm shooting, I don't know which one's going to be the best. And sometimes none is going to be the best. So I, I try to have three images, uh, three distances, sorry, uh, per image uh, to play. Uh, see, uh, uh, I usually expose for 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 the darkest, uh, for the highlights, sorry, so I can recover the information. Uh, at least with Nikon cameras, uh, you have uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, <coughs> range to recover from from the shadows okay you are <clears throat> uh, gracias uh, thank you Danny hopefully <laughs> mm, okay let's see yeah the pastor of uh, the audience I don't care the pastor I care uh, but you have to do it, it it's all about the image uh, remember the Alzheimer tip if you don't have it uh, everyone's gonna have Alzheimer tomorrow so but yeah sometimes pastors can be a, a, or, or priest can be difficult and I try to I try to respect as much as possible and I risk when I think something interesting is gonna happen if not I'm, I'm gonna just be in, in a corner try to be as close to my couple as possible and shoot their emotions but yeah if, if the pastor or of the priest told me hey get out of there I'm gonna do it but for that, uh, you, you can talk to your to the couple beforehand. Hey, do you know the pastor? Yes. Uh, is he a good guy or he has a lot of restrictions? No, he's a pain in the ass. Okay, but you have to rent uh, 400 mil to shoot or something. But yeah, I I'm all, always ask uh, the couple uh, the limitations of, of their ceremonies. Uh, so look on the... Ah, uh, that's crap. It was like spam or something. Uh, so this one. Uh, how did you market uh, yourself in the beginnings? How uh, did your first client recognize when you wanted your style? I found it very hard, difficult to get certain clients in the beginning with a low, low price point. Um, well, you have to you have to shoot different to to have different clients. If you're shooting the same stuff, you're gonna you're gonna get stuck. And uh, it's the crazy thing about wedding photography. It's like 
<clears throat> the clients that you're getting right now, it's, it's going to be a pattern. So you have to really take care of your actual clients. If, 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 if I, if I, well, I, the first thing I did to advertise locally was I went to a wedding fair. Uh, and I get books, a, a few sweet 16s and, and a few weddings there as well. And, and, and I was doing uh, slideshows the same, the same day of the wedding as well. Uh, while everybody was eating, I was working. <laughs> always, always. And thank God, even if it's a crappy wedding, uh, you never know uh, who are the guests are going to be. So sometimes I was doing a, like a small, low-budget wedding. And then uh, someone, uh, a guest arrived. And I said, hey, I, I love the images. Uh, I'm getting married here and here and here. And it was a different budget. So yeah, uh, we always try to, we always think uh, locally. But if if we only think in our in our city, uh, I, I think it's 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 harder to 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 separate yourself from the rest. So for me, it's always tried to to make a lot of connections everywhere. So if I have a hard time selling my work uh, in in Monterey, I can I can fly to a different place and and shoot and shoot anywhere else. So yeah, try try to not think locally. Try to think uh, nationally, and. It, it hurts for me. I, I travel a lot. Like sometimes I travel more more than half of this year. Uh, so so yeah, you have to take sacrifices to to get to different kinds of uh, of couples as well. Uh, what makes a good composition? Uh, it's it's images that makes you feel comfortable and and, and safe. Uh, uh, composition wise, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, theory you can you can read it in a lot of books, but for me a good composition it's it's it has balance. Uh, a good friend uh, Samo Roban uh, make us uh, he told us uh, something like this. Uh, if if you see an image, uh, just put the finger in the middle and, and see if it goes in one direction or or the other, and and that that plays uh, with with the composition and and how how are you balancing your images as well. Okay, but yeah, like uh, I, I've tried to follow the rules, and then I try to apply my own rules, and then I try to apply uh, painting rules inside photography, and then uh, film rules inside photography, so I can mix it a little bit. Uh, if you are a, a portrait photographer, uh, sometimes you can be a, a little bit square, uh, so it's always good to try to mix it and, and find different different rules and different. Uh, schools of photography or, or different schools of uh, visual arts, so you have more than one reference. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I wanted to see if my microphone was on, and yeah, it's on. Okay. Uh, Mm hmm I'm in my first year and I'm finding turn down pretty frustration. Okay. Well, yeah, you have to survive. You know, uh every every photographer uh has has a budget, has has a style of living. So even even if it's like that, you, you can you can learn to be a, a awesome classic photographer, work super fast, and then say, Okay guys, give me five minutes to create something personal. Okay? And, and 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 that way you can have both ways. And the good thing is, like after you shoot everything, only show your stuff. You know, go crazy with your stuff. Don't show anything else. You know, give your clients everything in the hard drive, in in a USB flash, and everything. But you have to really take care of your blog posts uh, or or your blog or your Facebook. Only show what you want to keep shooting. Okay. Um, and if I may add another question, how do you find time for all these creative shots? Do you ask for uh, usually couples uh, on on the wedding day they give me between twenty to forty five minutes to shoot, and that's why I don't do a lot of scouting. I usually shoot around around the the wedding venue uh, just just to try to shoot as much as I can and and and, and go crazy. Sometimes in Mexico we do the day after sessions, and and we can play a little bit more. So, 
So we have usually an hour and a half to two hours to play. But yeah, after two hours, everybody's just like, oh, I'm so tired. So I like to work hard uh, and I, I like to work fast. So nobody gets uh, worried or gets sick uh, about the, the images. Mm. Uh, this is the same question. How much time do you ask the couples for the portraits? I ask for an hour, uh, but I rarely have an hour to shoot on their wedding day. Uh, if, if it's a special couple and, and the wedding day was um, complicated, and or we didn't have enough light or we don't have cool light, I usually say, hey guys, are you willing to uh, a portrait session uh, the day after the wedding? Uh, I don't know, like an hour or something? And sometimes they say yes and, and we go crazy, you know? So so they change and they and we, we do a few sessions, uh, a few clicks the day after the wedding as well. Um, if he... Didn't start shooting weddings this way. How did you make the transition? We also point clients. He doesn't take a lot of expected shots. No, uh, I do the expected shots as well, guys. Uh, yeah, I do all the normal stuff. I do. You can go to my website and, and you, there's a proof site, and you can see I do everything. I do the families. I do the. I do all the normal stuff, but I try to risk on the important moments. Just to do my own my own personal stuff, but yes, I don't I don't want to make anybody unhappy. How I filter it's it's through my blog post. On on, on the first uh, years as a wedding photographer, I didn't knew what what I wanted to do, so I did everything. I did textures and I did off camera flash and I did all this crazy stuff, and and at the end I I didn't like it. So yeah, like. Uh, the, the first years are, 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 are the hardest ones because you don't know what you're doing. And, and most of the time, yeah, you're going to have a few disappointment clients for sure. That's, 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 that's going to happen. And it, it's, it's all an evolution for me. And, and thank God, uh, everything's been, everything's been great. And, and if I, if I made a, a error, I talk to the couples and I, Everything's been fixed, you know, but yeah, uh, it's it's all about being honest. I think that's that's the important thing. Okay, which is, um, how do you market yourself? It's, uh, um, sometimes I get features on on some wedding blogs. Uh, I mean, uh, jukebox weddings. Uh, also, uh, fearless photographers has helped me. Uh, book some destination weddings, um, also the ISP, WP, and also th the best market, it's making friends with other photographers and, and refer each other, so so that way uh, your agenda gets gets uh, full pretty easily. Also, uh, SEO, uh, Google, and all that stuff, uh, it has helped me a lot as well. Usually, I ask my couples how, how do they find me, and, and usually it's through another photographer uh, or through um, uh, Fearless or ISP or Facebook or, or referrals as well. Mm, how much do I charge? And it's wonderful to be able to limit to them. But you must charge a lot then, just curious. Well, uh, right now uh, I, I am at uh, 5,500. That's that's my price for uh, weddings inside Mexico, and and for me it's that's that's enough. And every time, every year, I'm changing my pricing and I'm arranging things. Uh, but yeah, starting price it's uh, 5,500. Uh, I use Nikon and Sigma lenses. That's that's all I use. Yeah. Uh, where did you get your inspiration from? Uh, I answered this one as well. Did you move the address from another room? Uh, slide 29. Let's see really quickly. What's the slide 29? Two, three, 29. Slide 29. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I don't see the address here. 
uh, sorry, if, if you can tell me which one it is, uh, I, I can find it, okay? How, how often do I have a second shooter? Uh, not very often. Uh, usually it's a friend that tells, hey, I want to shoot with you, and if, I, if, if I'm free and they can travel, uh, we, we make it happen. But yeah, uh, it's it's not very it's not very common. Uh, next comment to the UK. Yes, I'm going to the UK in April. I'm doing a, a few workshops there uh, in London, uh, Birmingham, and some other place. But yeah, I'm going to the UK. Uh, I love that place. Uh, there's a strong sense of geometry. Uh, this one was answered already. Did you shoot a uh, much film? No, uh, I shoot a few. Like I, I have shot three, three weddings, all film, uh, and they're from friends. And I say, yeah, I shoot your wedding, uh, but I, let let me experiment, and I go crazy on film. But yeah, I'm not a master on film. I love shooting film, but yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not an expert. Okay, by concept. Uh, by concept, uh, usually it are those images that you don't see a lot of emotion, uh, or uh, where the couples are like just far, far away, or or like when you can see their faces as well. You know, a concept shot. It's 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 more something something more uh, magical. Let, let me see if if I can find something for you here. Okay, just just so so you can. So you can dig, uh, understand a little bit more. Sorry for all this stuff. Yeah, guys, it's it's crazy to do to do webinars and fun. Woohoo! Okay, let me see if I find like a concept shot. Yeah, like a a concept shot can be something like this. You know that you don't see like the the, the groom is flying and the and the bride's fixing her dress. You know. So it's it's not a it's not a beauty shot, you know. It's it's it was a a, a planned shot that we are trying to, to work, you know. But it it's not like a like a real um, wedding image, okay? Or let me see if I can find something else that that's more like a concept. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Um, let me see one more. One more. So you can really dig it, or th this can be an, uh, a concept as well. You know, it's 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 all about more the, the composition and the lines and and the 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 emotion is not there. It's only just a few funny quirky things that they're doing together. Okay. Okay. Uh, Thirty-five, eighty-five, and fifty. The lenses I use. Uh, have you had an interview? Uh, I usually do a Skype meeting, and I, I try to uh, like a, to sell my stuff. Like a, I have a pricing website, so so that way it's easier for them to understand me because my accent it's it's crazy. So, but most of the time I w I just want to learn how they are, uh, who they are, and. Uh, I don't want to make best friends for my couples, you know? They, they know how I work, they, they have seen my portfolio. So usually, uh, if, if I have an interview, it's it's more about questions on their side. Like, hey, I say, what do you want to know? And, and, and that's it. But yeah, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a judge. I, I, don't, I, I don't say, oh, how, how did you meet, guys? Oh, that's, no. I, I, I prefer to spend that time with my family, with my kids, and just having enough time. Yeah, I don't go and take a coffee shop with them, nothing like that. It's it, it's all business, and on their wedding day, I do everything for them. But, but beforehand, I'm a freaky bastard, and, and, and I'm super busy. So I cannot provide all my time for them. Okay? Uh... Were you on the hill? Yeah, w w when there's a little distortion, I really can live with that. Uh, 
Lightroom ha can help me out fixing my vertical lines, and sometimes I use it. But yeah, uh, as I told you before, I'm not very technical. Uh, if if there's something funky there, it's something funky, and I'm okay with it. So yeah, uh, yeah, the only way to do it is using uh, tilt shift lenses, but I'm okay. My favorite photo book, uh, it's called The End by Rodney Smith, and I love this book. Uh, it, it's a freaking 16 by 20 book, uh, 16 by 20 inches, and it's, it's just gorgeous. Favorite lens so far, uh, it's my 35, but I, I want to push myself to use, to use more the, the 50 next year. Uh, three movies, uh, City of God, uh, Tree of Life, and Citizen Kane. Why do you say the couples during the photo sessions in terms of directing them? Uh, I usually make fun of them, <laughs> or I'm just like, hey, oh, pff, ah, e ooh. I, I make jokes like that and, and funny faces. Uh, I say, look at my penis, so they laugh like bastards. And what else? Uh, sometimes I, I say, okay, I, I speak sweet to them so they can give me more emotion. But yeah, I, 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 right this year for me was my, my happy year. So most of my couples were happy and I'm having a great time. I don't know, maybe next year it's going to be my dark year and everybody was going to be just like, like emos or something. Uh, what's having a style? I think it's just being okay with your images. It's it's not about being trendy or being crazy. It's it's about being happy, seeing your portfolio, and and having a smile when you when you see it. That's for me. That's that's having a style. Who who are my favorite photographers? Uh, Rodney Smith. It's uh, he's my top notch. Uh, Elliot Erwitt as well. Um, and who else? And then Emanuel Uweski, but he's a cinematographer. Any off-camera light? Uh, yeah, I'm not an expert at that. Yeah, I suck at off-camera stuff. Uh, JVS, he's a master of that. But yeah, I, I don't do a lot of off-camera tips, guys. Sorry. Uh, I suck at that. Uh... Okay, what happens is a couple uh, is disappointed because I don't have a close-up of the kiss. Uh, they know, because for me, their wedding's an, uh, an experiment, remember? And even in my contract, I have my, there's a, a phrase that's the, it's a creative vision, so they're willing to accept uh, that I, I can shoot anywhere I want and I'm gonna risk everything to make awesome images for them. So if, if they're not happy with that, uh, they're not gonna book me. Between what am I gonna do thirty years from now? Uh, that's that's an interesting question. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm still alive. I'm gonna be 60, 64. Uh, maybe opening a gallery and and try to go in, in into that direction. Into uh, maybe not shooting a lot of weddings. Uh, I don't know. I think my retirement plans uh, it will be shooting more families, and and trying to sell, uh, creating, selling my my images as as pieces of art and and doing galleries like that. But yeah, I don't know if if I'm gonna be still shooting weddings at 60, 64. Uh, am I still nervous before a wedding? Yes, every single time I'm almost about to throw up and. If I start, if I lose that, uh, yeah, I will just stop shooting weddings. How did you get those colors in these pictures? Uh, I use uh, I use actions and presets from uh, Red Leaf Red Leaf uh, Boutique. Uh, if you don't know those guys, uh, these are the guys uh, Red Leaf Boutique. You can see them here. The, yeah, this, these are the company that I use to for for my colors. They're they're great. Okay. Uh, how long do you require for to create a session? Usually, top 
an hour and a half. Uh, I don't want to sp spend a lot of time. I, I, I want to work fast, and I want them to say, hey, we're done already? Yeah, woo, awesome. Yeah, I, I don't like to, to go crazy. Uh, love your work. How do you get the grooms free and spontaneous? I just make them laugh. Uh, as I told you before, I, I'm a freaking clown. I'm a monkey, and I, I try to... I touch them a lot, I hug them, I, I kiss them, you know, it's it's all about not being that serious for me. You know, uh, a, a wedding has a lot of pressures and I don't want to be the photography to be one more pressure added. Uh, post wedding workflow, okay, I import everything into photo mechanic, uh, I select them, uh, Import into Lightroom, uh, play with, with my files, and then do a batch process uh, with readily factions in, in Photoshop. And, and that's it. I upload everything to, I use uh, sound slides to create slideshows, and that's it. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Uh, I imagine that you show many requests uh, for the budget here. How do you select customers? Uh, well, I think they choose me, you know, uh, it's, I, I don't choose them, I, I just, I tell every couple the same information that I tell everybody, uh, I send them my website with all my pricing uh, information, and and that's it, but yeah, usually it's, it's the wedding sun experiment, it's it's the, the way that they get to me, you know, but I don't want to shoot more than 25 weddings per year, so... Uh, right now I have 14 and no yeah 14 and I'm happy with that for next year and I don't know hopefully the, I, I get a few more this year I shot 23 and it was a it was a it was an awesome year technical question what did you mean by not minding on the white balance while shooting uh, okay uh, since I'm sh since since I'm shooting in black and white and my LCD is in black and white I don't care about colors I cannot see colors so my white balance is always in auto, auto white balance, and and that way I, I don't see I don't see my colors until I import into Lightroom. Okay, that that's why I don't care about my my white balance, Carla. Hello from Montenegro. Uh, can I see the question? Should... Oh, come on. Okay, you are. Uh, you know, Oh, thank you. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you, my friend. Okay, when I shoot a Indian wedding with over 600 people, do you th do things differently? Uh, I have only shot uh, three Indian weddings. Uh, uh, in in one, I was by myself, and, and in the other one, a uh, uh, second shooter came uh, from Costa Rica, Ali Sura, with me. Uh, and it was a we had a great time and I know I, 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 do, I do the same times so, well there's more family portraits there uh, for sure uh, but that's it uh, I do the same stuff guys uh, focusing points uh, I usually work uh, with the center one uh, so I, I focus and recompose uh, and and that's that's how I do it and and I and I use the back button focus, but back button to, to focus, okay? And how do you choose black and white and color in certain photographs? Oh, let me see a little. Sorry, guys. Um, my lady is going. Uh, so... Usually black and white for emotional images because all the colors are gonna distract uh, from from the main from the main action or by God it depends and if I feel it in black and white I I'm sorry I choose black and white uh, with receptions do you handle low light situation flash uh, can create ah. 
Yeah, with in receptions I go crazy since I have two cameras. Sometimes I I have uh, I use bounce flash and I sometimes I use rec flash and with the other camera I have high ISOs and I just go 6400 ISO or 12,000 and I don't care. So uh, receptions it's 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 a mix of everything just to, just to have uh, different vibes and and different emotions and different uh, feelings. Sorry. Um, uh, Lightroom, I said, yeah, uh, I answered this one. Yeah, usually, uh, personal projects, I, 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 I don't choose them, they choose me, and, and, and it's, it's not a, a long personal project. It's something that I love, I see, and I get close, and I start shooting it for an hour or two, and that's it. What's, what's in your gear bag? Uh, my, my two cameras, my three lenses, uh, two flashes just in case, a uh, small LED light, uh, tons of CF, CF cards, uh, chocolates, uh, pecans, and, and that's it, my iPhone <laughs> ready. But yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a big bag. I, I, I like to travel uh, pretty light. Yeah? Mm, to direct them on the right mood. Well, uh, the how 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 can I how do okay? Uh, I think this is the opposite. I usually see how they are feeling, and and we start from there. You know, it's if if they're laughing like crazy, I'm not gonna say okay, just start laughing, st stop laughing, uh, act more natural, and and just be serious. No, if if they're laughing like crazy, I'm gonna go in that direction. You know, uh, uh, but usually on a session. I try to have uh, like from from the serious and sweet to the to the laughing like crazy. I, I wanna I wanna try to cover all the emotions so so I can have a lot of options while, while I'm editing. Mm. Okay, uh, how do I how do you do my printing job? Uh, well, uh, for printing, uh, for albums, I use uh, Red Leaf, uh, no, sorry, Red Tree albums. Uh, and yes, I, I do, I do my, own, my own album design. I'm, I, don't, I don't go crazy with that. It's super simple. Uh, how do I play with the emotions? I just talk to them. It's it's not that hard, guys. If if we get close to them and if we talk with them as as persons uh, as as friends, they're they're gonna react. Uh, but if we if we shout at them like like freaking movie directors or or like uh, like professional photographers, they're gonna they're gonna be uh, awkward and they're they're not gonna enjoy our our presentation or or our or, or vibe. It's it's all about what you transmit while you're shooting. Tell us that you talk a lot to couples. Mm -hmm. Do you prepare? No, the, it's uh, usually they when they meet me, they know that they're that I am laughing like crazy. Uh, I don't prepare them for nothing. They they say, "Hey, how are you doing, fair?" And we go from there. I don't I don't I don't tell them in advance what we're gonna do. It, everything's a freaking experience for them, and and I just enjoy seeing their laughs and their surprises. You employ action sets uh, uh, to post process your images. If so, ah, I hate. They cannot see my questions. What the fuck? What can I see? Simon, I'm not being able to see your question, brother. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, pretty sign Photoshop settings. Yeah, well, uh, for for me, as as I told you, the guys from Redleaf, they they really nailed uh, the look, and it's not very obvious. 
So working with, with those presets uh, and those actions, it has made my, my work uh, look more satisfying for me, and I really enjoy uh, playing with actions and, and presets. For, for me, the post-processing part, it's, it's very fun and, and enjoyable because I'm always changing and, and mixing it a little bit. So, I don't know, time will tell if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I, I just love playing with, with different post-processing techniques. Uh, Uh, the, uh, they're talking about grain in Spanish, and I don't care about grain. If there's grain, I'm going to add more grain to my images, and I'm going to just embrace grain. Start reaching. Well, uh, how, how do I reach the destination brides? Uh, in Mexico, it's easy because uh, there's a lot of uh, a market here. Uh, we have a lot of uh, places that people get married here. So it's it's all about making connections and making friends in in the in that area and and after that and having a strong portfolio as well and uh, and it's just being able to travel and and risking the time that you have to spend with your family sometimes you you have to be you have to be traveling and that's that's the hard part but yeah how to reach them uh, at the beginning I was doing slideshows the same day of the wedding and then. Uh, advertising on, on wedding direct directories as well, or like Fearless and ISP, those those works like magic for me. Uh, a style crisis? Yes, uh, it's it's always like that, Sumarino. Uh, the style crisis, it's always there. You never know if what you're doing, it's, it's personal, or if you have seen it in another place, and it's only working and flowing through you. So, yeah, that, that shit happens a lot. So it's it's all about follow, following your gut, I think, and, and hoping that that's going to work for you. But, yeah, you never know if, if what you're doing is it's, it's unique or, or it's something that you have seen before. Or if you have seen before, at least, hopefully, it's not inside the wedding industry, right? But, yeah. Uh, the, the subconscious and the conscious and, and all that stuff works crazy. You get an agent to manage your inquiries? Uh, no, I do everything by myself, Antonio. Uh, I, I, I am a one-man army, and so far I'm, I'm happy doing it like that. Do you outsource something? Uh, uh, invoices, I do it by myself. Uh, there's an application that's called Blink Sale that I use, and it's awesome. Uh, Post-processing, so far, I haven't. I started to work with a company in Australia, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to see if we're able to work together. Uh, I'm still going to be editing my, my blog post, and they're, they're going to do the rest. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about our outsourcing uh, post-production for next year. How much time do you work on a wedding? Uh, usually for me, weddings are around uh, from 10 to 14 hours. Sometimes even longer, like 17 hours. Uh, but yeah, it, it's in my contract it says 10, but sometimes I go crazy because things are going awesome. Uh, my worst experience in a wedding, uh, one day, uh, we went to uh, to the uh, cemetery. Uh, the bride went there to say goodbye to his parents, uh, to her father, sorry, because he was already dead. And I was shooting uh, that stuff, and it was beautiful. And then I went uh, to the reception, and I was about to do the, the slideshow for them. And I was downloading that card, and it got corrupted. And I was like, holy fuck, I'm screwed. But thank God all the software, uh, softwares in the world, I, I recovered the files and, and everything was there. But yeah, that, that, that has been one of my worst experiences. I was sweating like a pig. It, it was awful. Uh, no videos. Yeah, no, I, I am not going to do videos. Uh, there's a lot of guys like Real Love and Funky Cinema 
and media morphosis out there here in Mexico that they do awesome jobs. So yeah, I, I'm not gonna do videos. Hey, hey, hello in, in <laughs> hey. Um, thank you, Ricardo. Uh, uh, 10 hours, as I told you before. How do you dress for weddings? Uh, for beach weddings, usually uh, like khakis, and most of the time I go barefoot. It's awesome to work on barefoot or toms or something simple. Uh, and for more formal weddings, I usually wear like a sport jacket and, and some, some pants that are like flexible and just like tennis, comfortable tennis that I can, that I can be uh, on my feet for 14 hours. Uh, I answered that question before. Did you give a lot of value, uh, treat, a lot of value treatment of images? I don't understand this question, guys. So, sorry, Matthews. Uh, I don't understand it. Uh, when you came to Racine to bring some beer? For sure, my friend. Anytime. How do you come out of your safe mode? Well, it's a step by a step by step, uh, Patricia. Uh, Petrica, sorry, Petrica. You have to you have to start risking one picture at a time. That's that's the main goal. One one picture at a time, and you can do then you can do magic uh, by the years. Yes, I use my thirty-five and my eighty-five, and then I have a fifty as a backup. Uh, how do you co up? Yeah, with videographers, most of the time I don't have problems uh, because I uh, uh, usually, if they book me, if the couple book me, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna book a cool videographer as well. Uh, so it's it's a team effort. Uh, and sometimes, yeah, they have book uh, crazy videographers that uh, that they don't do weddings. That they they usually do like commercial stuff, and they feel like a diva on that wedding day. Uh, and yeah, one one day, one wedding this this year, I shot. They were eight videographers. Uh, yeah, and it was a pain in the ass, and and they were very cocky. So yeah, I had to use my eighty eighty five more. And my 35 because there were cameras all, all around me. Do you give a lot of value of treatments? Ah, sorry, I don't I don't understand this question, my friend. Uh, I answered this one: red leaf, uh, Lightroom, and then a batch process in Photoshop, Marcela. Uh, post processing, it's it's it's. It's important, but not that important. It's 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 only the final touch. But I really love my right now. I love in the matte finish of my images, and every year I try to try to find a different technique to 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 give more emotion or more more colors out of, out of my images. Uh, social networks for promotions. So far, uh, I haven't paid. Uh, Facebook to promote me, but yeah, I have my my fan page or my business page there, and I use it. But I don't I don't pay for I don't pay for people to get there so far. Uh, no, I don't use Tilt Shift. Uh, in a few images, I, ha I have used uh, a software uh, to use it, uh, but I don't use uh, Tilt Shift Lens. Uh, how how long do I take to edit a wedding? Uh, if I have enough time and I'm concentrated, uh, in two days I have uh, the weddings ready. Um, uh, tips for directing couples: just be you, be you, and don't be don't be a photographer. Be a friend with a camera. Mm, I answered this one already. Ah, uh, what time do I really love my work? It's 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 hard. Uh, most of the time, after I finish, I blog and I'm super happy with it, and I see it like a, a week after, and I hated it. So yeah, I'm I'm never satisfied with my work. I'm never like yes, I'm a master. It's not like that. 
I always feel unsatisfied. unsatisfied. I, I always feel that I could do a little bit better. Uh, if I move one step in this direction, if I move a little bit in this direction, I will be much, much better. But yeah, it's, I'm not, I'm never happy with it. I'm, sometimes I'm, ee, yes, and then boo. <laughs> uh, th thank you, Leo. Uh, not that much, today's, today stops. Do you, uh, do any other company in your weddings? Yeah, usually they're friends uh, who, that we have a good time together shooting, and they're they're awesome. Mm. Okay. No, well, uh, I'm I'm trying to to do one style only, but yeah, my portfolio I have to renew it. Because I haven't, I haven't moved images there, but yeah, I, I tried. To, I'm trying to get to the matte look at last. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The Aguilar, Danny is Danny is Danny. I'm never gonna be Danny. He's a freaking beast. He's an awesome shooter. He has an awesome colors, and I, I prefer the more pastel look of the images. Use awkward things in the decoration. Yeah, the weddings is not about decorations. Uh, weddings, it's it's about people and about emotions. So fuck the their decorations. I have uh, just so you know, Arthur. I have blocked all the all the every single wedding I have shot. I have blocked it. I have never uh, say, oh, I'm not gonna block this because this or that. I have blocked every single wedding I have shot. Um. I did this already. Do you sell a lot of wedding, a lot of your wedding images? Uh, no, usually I sell them only the digital negatives, and they can print if they want. But usually it's only an album uh, and the files. How much do you sh do you make additional profit, uh, and what do you sell with that? Uh, it's the same as last time. I, I sell negatives and I sell albums, and I have a. Uh, uh, they can buy prints as well, but it's. I, I don't sell that much. I don't. I'm not a good seller. I don't push them in that direction. Uh, oh wow! Well. I don't. I don't think I tell the whole story. Uh, for me, really, I, I see weddings. Uh, I prefer seeing trailers that, 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 than full movies. So, for me, those twenty images are more like the trailer of the of the wedding. Uh, I see my images are more like a like a dream instead of a, a step number one, step number two, step number three. Okay, so so yeah, for for me, telling the story in twenty images are. Are representative moments that can make you feel, but they don't have to be like the ring or the kiss or the anything. They can be anything else. But but yeah, it's twenty personal images. Being a clown, being a clown. Do you do things differently? I don't do this question. Two over time, uh, I tell them uh, four to eight weeks. That's that's what I tell them, and everybody's being okay with that. Mm. Uh, no, the only things that I move it's it's during the portraits. Everything else, uh, I, I don't do anything. I, I don't I don't I don't move the dress. I don't do anything else. Uh, a few years ago, I, I, I was the expert at that. I was moving every single thing, and I moved it. And now uh, I went to a workshop that's called Foundation Workshop, and and I, I try to to leave everything like like it is. You know, if they ask me, hey, wh where should I put the dress? I say, okay, let's try to put it uh, near the bride or something like that. But but I'm not gonna tell them put it here because here is the best place to do it. No. Uh, right now, I try to be 
90% of the, my time, uh, just a, a fly on the wall, and the rest, uh, I'm going to direct it on, on the portraits. Okay. How do I define my own style? Uh, for me, it will be uh, uh, like cinematic and out of context. That 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 will it be? That's sometimes not wedding related and and cinematic. It's like try to grab a steal from an image uh, from a from a movie and that my images represent that. Uh, thank you, Mathix. Mathix. Can you explain how you shoot the feel versus look photo? Yeah, this was a big LED light on the back of the bride, and and I just uh, exposed for the light, and then recovered a little bit of light. Sorry, oh oh, uh, and I recovered a little bit of light uh, on her face. Okay, so you have to send twenty images to mywet.ru. And you can win beautiful prizes. I think you have to, you have to go there, guys. Okay, and there is gonna be a, a contest. Awesome. Can you show quickly your presentation once again? Oh, sorry, Ava. We're almost, uh, almost finishing this. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. Hopefully, someone uh, recorded or something, and you can see it later. Uh, plugins, we talk about that. Oh uh, no, uh, for, for that, so, so like uh, my lenses, uh, yeah, you, you can have 10,000 lenses with you, but for me, it's just having enough to play, and, and the rest, I, I, I really don't care. Favorite music? I like uh, singing songwriters. Uh, I love uh, John Mayer. I love Dave Matthews Band. I love uh, jazz. I love blues. That kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, sometimes you need a wider, a wider angle, and sometimes. But for that, sometimes I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna break my back. I'm just gonna. Carry two lenses and two cameras. Uh, the Sigma, I tried it and I loved it. I, I had the F2 before, uh, and it was it was okay. But uh, but then I tried the Sigma and I loved it. But I, I haven't tried the the Nikkor. Uh, a friend of mine has it, but I think it's a little bit slower uh, on the focusing speed. But I know that the Sigma is not as waterproof uh, or weatherproof, so I don't know. So far, the Sigma has worked great. Okay, did we talk about that before? Argentina, saludos. You mainly use. Uh, yes, I, I mainly use Lightroom and I use Photoshop uh, as with only batch process using red leaf actions. Uh, lighting in receptions, I go crazy. I'm a monkey with that. I, 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 I do everything, but I rarely use soft camera. Uh, so far, uh, Madeline, uh, it's been three years that I have uh, beautiful clients. Everybody's been happy. Uh, a few in the past, yeah, they, they weren't happy. And stuff like that is always going to happen. In the creative industry, uh, we're selling a promise. And, and it's hard to please everybody. But right now, I, I, I have a good streak. So hopefully, it's going to be like that. Uh, most of the time, Marcel, uh, I shoot in Mexico and sometimes outside Mexico, but it's, it's rare. Um, and, and it's been by luck, uh, the, getting the destination weddings and, and trying to work in, with this uh, sale uh, for your website as well, and, and referrals as well. Uh, the most awesome place right now, it's been, it's been New Zealand. Uh, three years ago, uh, Mary and Sam wedding, and they're still good friends, and hopefully I'm going to get back, hopefully, next year. Uh, no, right now, Bruno, Bruno, I'm using I'm using auto white balance. 
a few a few years ago I was using shade, but now it's out of white balance for me. Um, if we had more time, I will. I can definitely do this, and, and I'm working on my laptop here uh, because my main computer doesn't have a webcam. So sorry about this, Dima. But just send me an email, and I can so show you before and after of one image. Okay? Do you have any must-have shots? Uh, no, I just go crazy. Sansan, Sansan, brother, it's here. Uh, it's gonna be. Coming soon.